Near-death experiences, or NDEs, are experiences that people claim to have during moments very close to death, and also often during cardiac arrests. There are several aspects that are interest for scientific investigation in NDEs, but we would we will stress two specific aspects uh, interesting for scientific investigation. One of them is about deep personality changes caused by near-death experience. Several prospective studies have shown that uh, uh, people have changes in their perceptions of life based on spiritual experience. For example, Pim van Lommel performed a longitudinal study in 10 hospitals in Netherlands. In this investigation, they studied more than 300 cardiac arrest, survivals of cardiac arrests. And he performed a follow-up of up to eight years of investigation. And based, basically, patients, survivors, who had near-death experience compared with survivors of cardiac arrest who did not have near-death experience, the survivors with near-death experience, they showed, after two years of follow-up, higher belief in life after death, higher interest in spirituality, higher empathy, higher interest in helping other people, and higher interest in their families. So there were some changes in deep values of people based on near-death experience. So the, the personality, the psychological impact of near-death experience are, uh, is a very interesting point of investigation in scientific studies. But probably what raises more interest in near-death experience is, are the reports of conscious experience during cardiac arrest. We know by previous scientific studies that after a cardiac arrest, the brain stops working in about 20, 30 seconds after cardiac arrest. So based on current materialist views of mind-brain relationship, if the brain is not working, the mind could not exist. Memory, mind, the consciousness, perception should not exist if the brain is not working. But patients even under cardiac arrest, claim to have consciousness, to be aware during this period. So the most important aspect is to determine if this experience happened during the period of cardiac arrest or if they are hallucinations or memories that are wrongly attributed to the period of cardiac arrest. And also, uh, several possible explanations have been raised to explain away, in some sense, this kind of experience. For example, saying that they are caused by hypoxia, they are caused by hallucination, fear of death, religious beliefs, and so on. However, most of the longitudinal studies on near-death experiences show that uh, hypoxia, use of medication, religious belief, fear of death, no, none of these hypotheses can really explain the near-death experience. Several authors have published reports describing precise description of what happened during the cardiac arrest and during the resuscitation process, suggesting that these reports are not just hallucination or imagination of patients. Several reports published in academic journals showing that what the patient reported during the near-death experience actually happened during a period of cardiac arrest, of ventricular fibrillation, and so on. But during this moment, the, the moment of cardiac arrest, the brain is not working. So this kind of report suggests that mind is related, but not necessarily dependent on the brain. So to raise the question, if the mind, more than a brain product, could be something beyond the brain, but in some sense connect to the brain. Of course, this is a very controversial issue, but we need to take in consideration several high-level studies 
have been published on near-death experiences. And these studies need to be taken carefully in consideration when we investigate and try to understand the mind-brain relationship, how mind relates to the brain.